We bring equipment in here that is broken, no longer useful. We repair it, we make it like new so that the warfighter can continue to use it. My name is Colonel Bob Swenson. I'm the commander of Letterkenny Army Depot. As the commander, my responsibilities include everything to do with Letterkenny. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Davis. I'm a supervisor here at the DDSP. That's the Defense Distribution Center here in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. Our focus here is to take care of the warfighter, which you know as the soldiers. We receive all the material that pretty much the soldiers order. As a matter of fact, our depot does about 40% of all the logistics for the entire military, our forces. As a corporate communication specialist, we support the fleet and our command with base newspapers, news releases, we get the word out to our customers and the fleet and tell people what we're doing to support the fleet. Hi, my name is Janice Dirk and I'm the protocol officer for the Naval Supply Systems Command and I love my job. Hello, I'm Patrick McCarthy. I work at uh, DDSP New Cumberland. I'm a uh, traffic management specialist. I uh, book uh, containers for uh, movement to Iraq, Afghanistan, as well as Europe. Hi, I'm April Adams and I'm in the transportation office. I work at Letterkenny Army Depot and I move military freight. It's cool to know that you know you're shipping these Humvees to the soldiers and they're actually going to be using them. All the parts that are associated with a submarine, we make sure that they have them and have the capability to complete the mission and come home safely. Hi, I'm Stacy Brown and I'm a logistics management specialist and I love my job because I have the opportunity to help our soldiers. I feel that my job is important to someone out there, whether it's a soldier in the field or someone that is being deployed. We rebuild Humvees. It is from start to finish. We tear the Humvee completely down, turn every nut and bolt, reassemble it, put a brand new engine in it. It's a brand new vehicle when it leaves this facility. Hi, I'm Todd Beam here at Letterkenny Army Depot. I'm a, a machine process supervisor, and yes, I do love my job here at Letterkenny. Humvees rock. Hi, my name is Emily Tiboroski, and I work at the Naval Supply Systems Command here in Mechanicsburg, PA, and I love my job. My job is important. One of the things I do is measure how well the supply system's operating, and that way we can see if there's a problem with different parts of our supply system and go out and correct them. Because if our sailors don't have parts and they don't have food and they don't have clothing and they don't have the things they need to operate, they can't protect our country. Naval Logistics! We gather everything together and have it ready so that when the warfighter needs it, we're ready to send it off rapidly just to that spot. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Commander Curtis Colwell. I'm in charge of 38 warehouses and all the people it takes to run those warehouses. Go Navy! A lot of what we do here is creating software programs. Our goal is to try to automate as many processes as we can. Every program that runs on the computer, someone has written the language for that. Hi, I'm Joanna Hayes. I'm Chief of the Application Division and I love my job. Hi, my name is Jeremy Steinauer. I am a logistics management specialist, which means I provide material to the shipyards. Go Navy. Navy! What's cool about my job, I get to deal with the different ammunition, like the torpedoes and tomahawks. There's a lot of upward mobility opportunities where you can where you can come in as a trainee and work your way up. Hi, I'm Heather Heaston and I'm a program manager at the Naval Ordnance Logistics Support Center. Hi, my name is Isaiah Jones. I'm an information technology systems analyst. What that basically means is I analyze and design information systems for the U.S. Navy. IT is cool. Hi, I'm Richard Warme. I help the Navy determine how much money they need to move the ordnance. I love my job. I like working here. I like the people I work with a lot of experts, and I'm, every day is a learning experience. Take risks, challenge yourself, ask, ask, and if you're told no, ask again. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Weiss. I work for Chucks and I love my job. The people here are great. When I came here, I had no idea what I was doing, but everybody around me helped me to learn and taught me how to do my job. My job's important because I, I track everything that's in the building. Hey, I'm Ozzy Green, I love my job. It's like helping everybody that's in the building. I get the product and the work to them. If they need something, they call me. If something breaks down, they call me. It's a very important job in the GDSP. Well, we have several different positions here. We have people that do financial management. We have people that do production management. Uh, we have people that actually turn the wrenches. Uh, we have people to repair sites, repair circuit cards. We have all different types of skills and requirements here. Plenty of opportunities here at Letterkenny. Plenty of good jobs. Hi, I'm Curtis Baker. I'm a human resource specialist. Currently at Letterkenny Army Depot, we have 1,327 
civilian employees. The integration between the civilian workforce and the military is paramount in our support for the warfighter. I'm John Ewan, uh, Captain uh, Supply Corps United States Navy, the Deputy Commander here at the Naval Inventory Control Point in Mechanicsburg. We love the civilian support that we have here and the civilian employees uh, is a very integral uh, member of our team. Hi, I'm Commander James Watts. I'm the Director of Nuclear Reactor Supply Chain Management. I actually could see myself making a career out of this. I really enjoy working in the transportation office. It's all kind of opportunities for men, women, regardless of where you're from, where you came from. There's plenty working here for everybody. Commander Jim Johnson, I'm the head of the Readiness and Metrics team. I think if you decide early on that you want to make it a career, give it your all, take advantage of all the training that's available, to give it the most. The most important uh, career advice that I've ever received is finding a job that I really enjoy and working with people that I like and respect. Best career advice I ever got was actually to apply for this job. Uh, it's been a great career move for me and I've loved every minute of it. If you have an opportunity to get in here, definitely do it. I think it, it, there's always a lot of fun going. I think the military especially, they have a, a more like work hard, play hard attitude. They like to pick out each other and have just have a nice time. <laughs> if you didn't have fun or laugh during the day, you know, you wouldn't want to come to work. Don't worry about what you, when you make mistakes. You don't overwhelm yourself. You're going to make mistakes. Make up your mind what you want to do and you stick with it. Don't stop going to school. Don't stop learning. And you can go anywhere you want. Your future starts today. Mm -hmm.